buddy. Big things are upon us. Six stars. Is anyone surprised? No? Didn't think so. And if you are, well, we're going to be going over info, so you're not surprised anymore. So, let's get to it. So, first on the list, six stars. What are they? They are basically the, the new hard-to-obtain thing. So, as you guys might know, a few years ago, five stars came out. There were, base, there were a few of the basic ones. Winter Soldier, Rhino, which were actually the first two to ever be duped. Uh, Juggernaut, Magic, Ronin, Cyclops. I think those were the only ones. Much to people's dismays, who had finished Arwell with the five-star Rhino, Cyclops, and Ronin. But, so now they've said that there's going to be six stars with, and 24 of them. Now, I'm assuming that it's going to be Hawkeye, all the generic guys, and not because I'm facing Hawkeye too. Basically, um... Hmm. I might put a list in the description what I think the five stars, I mean six stars, that's going to take some use, to, some use to get to say six stars, but yeah. Um, I'm sure they're going to have some bad ones like Kamala Khan, She-Hulk, um, the work, Spider-Gwen, um, Moon Knight, Daredevil, Classic, maybe even Classic and Netflix, Daredevil, etc. But basically what I think is going to happen is we're going to have a whole new content out, and I'm looking forward to it. Even if I won't be able to obtain them, it's going to be a lot of fun um, seeing uh, the guys at Axelob get six stars and everything. So that's going to be really great. I can't wait to see that. So good luck, you guys. Um, right now you need 37 five-star dupes to get a uh, six star so of course there's going to be different ways so let, I'm just going to be going over a lot of what they say on the forms so it says will five stars be easier to rank up yeah so basically they're actually adding five star rank up material and why this is so important is because this will diminish the whole alpha a1 alpha catalyst struggle that's been going on for a lot of top tiers so I'm guessing that it's going to be uh, either rank w rank up to level 1 or rank 2 I mean rank 2 or rank 3 possibly both like the top few get rank 3's but I don't quite know so the addition of glory made so it's easier to attain rank up items this is probably going to cost a lot so I can't even imagine that also, when it says rank up items, I got a feeling it's more four star based and like where uh, what you used to have to score like 10 million or something in the hood arena for that awakening, the push up gem. I think you can get it in the glory store, maybe 5,000 or something like that. So, tier four class has been added to the game as calendar rewards. So, basically, this is just going over what's adding some extra stuff like oh by the way we're gonna have this that basically the things that were really rare like all these five star shards and everything more of the tier 4 class, tier 4 basic etc are going to be more popular so this is good for new players because like myself in a way because you just have to participate and you get to a semi decent rank alright so as you guys all know, the PHC has changed. The uncollected PHC is basically three is basically going to be ninety five percent three stars, five four percent uh, four stars, and then point zero 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 one or something like that percent five stars. And even if you do get a five star, it's probably going to be Kamala Khan, She Hulk, all the works. So, basically, I need to stop saying that. I'm saying that a lot. Alright, so, of course, there might be a few picks of getting a 5-star, but from what you may have seen this morning with all the people uh, get, not getting 5-star Punisher, I wouldn't count on it. Someone opened up a 1,000 of, of the uh, new Arena Crystals, didn't get Punisher. 
He got like 15,000 units, 15,000 gold, uh, zero energy refills, which was weird at the pick, and two and 13 uh, four-star punishers. So that was pretty great. Great. Um, let's see. So next up, I think they're going to change the loyalty crystal. In fact, I'm sure of it because nobody buys the loyalty crystal anymore. And I feel like it'd be a great way to get people to give loyalty more of an aspect to the game. Because right now, most people just save loyalty, and it's not really a part of the day-to-day -day content, more even the weak content. It's just there, in a way. So, will Tier 5 Basic Catalyst be available? Yes, we don't have a specific date. This is saying that they are planning to at it however I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a hundred percent of act four I mean act five because one they want you to spend to get it because even with the new six stars coming out you're still going to want to have rank five five stars because it's gonna take forever to get six stars so rank five five stars are probably gonna rule for about half a year and I'd count on having a good magic or a featured champion as a five star at rank five of course, if anyone rank 5 Spider-Man, well, perhaps Spider-Man wouldn't be the worst after all the hassling, but if someone, like, does rank 5 Iron Patriot, oh, uh, boy. Actually, I kind of hope someone does. It'd be hilarious. All right, so let's see. What else next? Oh, yes, the 5 and 6-star arena coming out, the 6-star arena, etc. This was self-explanatory. There's going to be more arenas. I'd count on maybe adding some six-star shards to that. I think about the same amount, maybe 800 or so, maybe less to start off with. But as you guys know, arenas becoming more and more important in the day-to-day -day tasks. You get about like 800 five-star shards when you get 1 to 10%. So add that on. You can... Uh, maybe earn a five star in three weeks at least in exilum you can and ever and so it would take a while and they're not gonna make you get 37 five star dupes to get a six star so obviously there's gonna be more opportunities they said that six stars are gonna appear in october but not in chapter three so uh, that means that chapter three will be coming out in september um, and then uh, the final quest will probably be out de December. So that's that. I would expect a new master difficulty, maybe something like Insanity or Give Me My Your, your Money or something along those lines. Something expensive, I think around 10k PI minimum, and then it can go up to 16,000, or something like that. Something that's actually a challenge, and the rewards would give 6 stars. And that would encourage people to actually do that, because right now, most people don't have a problem with Master or Heroic in the higher tiers. There's no max signature crystals yet for 5 stars. Um, I wouldn't expect one for a while, because they're lazy, don't want to do a lot of work, and not a lot of people have dupe 200 champs, except for the very few, like someone who has in core who has dupe 200 star lord the one guy who has a dupe 200 star lord a few guys who have dupe 200 rhino um so will we see wolverine scarlet witch and the others as five stars probably not they say um actually i'm trying to find out where they say it but basically they're saying that we don't know there's we, they're keeping it hush hush basically about the whole six stars what champs there are now I really do like the new version of six stars when it comes down to what you use as in for this one you can regen health after the third special and I think that's going to be pretty important mostly because six stars right now five stars at rank four have about 22,000 health or so without glass cannon etc so add on a rank 5, I'm guessing it'd be about 27. So I'm assuming that most 6 stars will probably require tier 4 basic to start off to get to rank 2, maybe 4 or something. Then to rank uh, 3 them, you'll need a, a tier four, 5 basic. 
and their PI is probably going to be about the same as a rank 4 5 star. So you'll need some Alpha Cat, T2 Alpha Cats. So I'd probably save those that you get from Act 5. But, hmm. I really don't think 6 stars are going to take over for a while. Now, the main question which everyone is asking, 4 stars are becoming obsolete. Ah, no they're not. Shut up. This really got to me while people are complaining in all the chats. It's like, why even do a four-star arena? Shards. You need the shards from the champ. Max signature crystals. You'll get 500 uh, five-star shards per dupe or something like that when you finally max them out. So don't go selling your champs. It's not worth it, and you can just get the dupes. It's, it's just dumb, honestly. Not to mention it'll drop your level and everything, so... I mean, I didn't sell my champs technically in my level drop, but hey. I know some guys have sold, sell their 1 to 3 stars just for the shards, but I'm, I don't really suggest that, and that's another video for another time. So right now everything's just on the up in the air in a way, but I got a feeling that 6 stars won't take over for a while, even when there are 6 stars. I don't think they'll take over onto someone's profile until they can get A, a dupe, and more content will come out. I'm assuming this means Act 6. So I think even if you do get a 6 star, you're going to have to wait for about 4 months or so before you can even do anything with them. Just like the whole tier 5 b basic in thing a long time ago when 5 stars were first released, we could see that. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the length, but there was a lot to talk about. So let me know what you think about the six stars and everything. And, hmm. Eh, why not? Go check out Seaton's video about the trash can six stars, because that was pretty great. I usually don't like his content, but that one was pretty great. So props to him. Alright, this is Fire Elemental, signing out, and I'll catch you guys 